Hello everyone, it's Dennis here. Now, about a week ago, I did a video with Natal, aka the young mathematician, and he challenged me with this integral from the MIT Integration B, and I had to solve it live on camera, uh, which was a little bit uh, stressful. I was kind of nervous, but anyway, I ended up doing this using uh, a trig substitution. You can go watch the video. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But um, afterwards, I actually discovered I could have done this in a probably much easier way. So I just decided to make another video uh, about this integral here. So we have the integral of the square root of x plus the square root of x uh, squared plus 1. And I'm going to redo this using a change of variable or uh, substitution. So let's uh, i'm going to begin by letting y to be equal to this whole thing here let me just say y squared to make things easier so y squared equals x plus the square root of x squared plus one and um let's see let's see i can square this again so i'll have y to the power four equals x squared plus 2x times the square root of x squared plus 1, okay, plus x squared plus 1. So let's see what we have here. x plus y to power 4, y to the power 4 equals, so this plus this, that's going to be 2x squared plus 2x times the square root of x squared plus 1, uh, plus one here so y to the power 4 equals just factorize out 2x here that's going to be x plus oh, what's that the square root of x squared plus 1 plus 1 and if you just take a look at this here that's exactly what we have here so just going to substitute that so i have y to the power 4 equals 2xy plus 1, okay? Uh, maybe just one more step. I can actually make x the subject. So this implies that x is equal to, x is equal to y to the power 4. Maybe should extend this a little bit here. So x is y to the power 4 minus 1 divided by, what's that going to be? 2y, okay? All right, um, two y, two y. Actually, I think this should be y squared because this right here is y squared. Okay, not just y, but y squared. So, yeah, that's squared. Okay, there we go. So this is this is x. And um, uh, so before I if I actually go any further, let me change the limits because this integral goes from zero to. Uh, 1 over root 3 so uh, when x is 0 let's see just put here 0 and here 0 uh, y is just going to be 1 and when x is uh, 1 over root 3 1 over root 3 uh, okay so y will be, let's see if you just put 1 over root 3. One of, actually, in that video, I think somewhere I did something related to this. Uh, but I can, I can actually repeat that here. So y squared equals, so let's just put 1 over root 3 here. Okay, just write that well. 1 over root 3 plus the square root of... 1 over 3 plus 1, which happens to be, so that's 1 over root 3 plus, uh, this is going to be 3 over 3, which is 4 over 3, which is 2 over root 3, that's um, root 3, oh, 3, divide by root 3, uh, but this is y squared, so you have to take the square root both sides again and you'll end up with y as the fourth root of 3 so y is yeah that's 3 to power 1 over 4 so that's the fourth root of 3 so there we go these are our new 
uh, limits. So, okay. So that's that's it. Let's um, before we do the substitution here, we'll need to also find what dx is. So let's go ahead and find dx. Uh, so let's see. Looking at this, uh, just leave it as it is, and we'll use quotient rule. So dx is equal to so using quotient rule. Um, so I keep this constant and I take the derivative of this which will be 4y cubed that should be minus so I just keep y to the power 4 minus 1 and I take the derivative of this which should be 4y divided by this right here squared that's 4y not, not squared that should be to the power 4 which implies that dx is equal to, so this right here is 8y to the power 5 minus, so this right here is going to be 4y to the power 5, and this with this should be a plus, so that's plus 4y, all this divided by 4y to the power 4, which means dx just come back here which means dx is so this subtracts and we have 4y to the power 5 plus 4y okay we have lots of fours here so i'll just cancel out all the fours so dx is um i can also factorize out uh that's y to the power 4 sorry so i can also factorize out y from the numerator, so I'll just have y to the power 4 plus 1 divided by y cubed. Okay, so that's the value of dx. So just remember, this is our integral. So I'm going to rewrite it now in terms of uh, y, which is our new variable. Just to remind you, so the integral from, was that a 0 to 1 over root 3 of the square root of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 dx is the same as integrating from 1 to, uh, let's see what that was, from 1 to the fourth root of 3. And instead of all this, we actually have um what should that be that's a y because when i was changing the variable here i actually went straight to y squared but if i just take the square roots on both sides that's what i get um and then for dx i have this here okay that's y to the power 4 plus 1 divided by y cubed i should have put dy here and I think, yeah, that, that should, it should actually, oh, I just want to use this color. So that should be actually everywhere. Uh, sorry about that. So dy, 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 everywhere. I should have put that dy because I'm taking derivatives with respect to y. Okay, so, yeah. So this is what we have. Um... Just use this color here. So the nice thing about this is that uh, what we have now is actually a polynomial, sort of. Uh, this is fourth root, not four root three, but fourth root of three, or three to the power one over four. And uh, what's this going to be? That's that's I just reduce one of these with this, so I have y to the power 4 plus 1 divided by y squared dy which i can also write as the integral from 1 to the fourth root of 3 i'll just have y squared uh, right here okay that should be y squared because y to the power 4 this plus i'm basically writing this as i'm splitting the numerator so, yeah, this should be now very, very easy to integrate because these are just polynomials. 
and I'll just go ahead and do the integration now. So I now have uh, y, that's going to be, so 1 over 3 y cubed minus 1 over y, okay, and I'm integrating this from 1 to the fourth root of 3, and if I do this, I should have, so uh, I'll begin by putting in the upper limit, the fourth root of 3, that's going to be, uh, so this right here will be the, uh, that going to be 3 to the power 3 over 4 divided by 3 if I just put in this here which I think comes down to 1 over the fourth root of 3 okay if I just put that here I have 1 over the fourth root of 3 minus I now go to the lower limit which is 1 so that's just going to be 1 third minus 1 and you can already see that this is a zero, this is negative two-thirds, but this minus right here makes it positive again. So, yeah, our final answer is two-thirds, which is exactly what I got in the previous video with Natal. Yeah, but I think this would be a much uh, nicer way and faster way probably of reaching the answer than using a trig substitution of uh, letting x to be turn fit out something so this is it thank you for watching this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and do that i'll see you in my other videos bye